Share your stories about that guy in your group, or how to combat difficulties brought on by people like them. The guy at the local game store who used to accidentally smash people's Warhammer models? What? Uh Break bits off and hide them or flick bits of paint at them. He got banned for pouring a whole pot of mint green over some guy's custodies. What? When his knights got tabled. Honestly, oh, nah. It's what? It. That's I mean, no. awful. For, like, see, this is see, where. See, this is where this boy would have got battered. So anyway, you start I, blasting. I, yeah, like, you know, are you telling me, like, <laughs> that, I, like, I'm telling you, like, now, this is like that boy that decided, you know what? Oh, there's some nice dice. Sorry, let me just put them in the <laughs> mouth. Like you filthy wee fuck! Don't touch what is, the shit. What is unless wrong? you want to ha- just have a look at like, it. Are you are you actually looking battered here? <laughs> like you know, because that's is, how you get a smack in the face. I'm telling you, this is how you end up getting. And no. the amount of money people put into Warhump because I, 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 I don't imagine many people would put up with that. No, because I know like from you having models like they might yeah. have money put into them and they might have effort put into oh, them, yeah, painting there's them, so much effort. building them, and they might have you know. Just time, time invested. and energy invested into them if somebody comes away and does this? Nah, absolute, nah. <laughs> absolute man-child of sorts. I'm surprised he hasn't actually got battered. I know. Let's be serious. The Spurg who used to bite codexes oh my and god. Rubik's because he loved the texture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He sure wasn't a dog. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- <laughs> What are these people? Like, no. What game store do you go to? <laughs> Like, I've never experienced anything close to this. Never, never. The guy who always brought 500 points more than everyone else and never showed his army list. He played guard and it was Russ's all the way down 4th edition. How do you not notice? So let's be serious. Everyone knows whenever you like, come on here. You've like, got an extra 500 points. What are you playing at? And also, <laughs> yeah. is it not just common card? See, like, anytime I played 40k, I haven't played 40k in a while now. Like, so, some people like, do it, bring extra because they don't know what the oh, other yeah, people like, brought. But normally I would just bring a list with me. Yeah. And, like, you know, it's always nice to go through your list with who you're playing against because it means you can be like, oh, look at these models. Because I always, like, like I'm a snob, all right? I like to play with painted models, okay, guys? Don't judge me. But I fucking like playing <laughs> painted models, and I do judge people that show up with just plastic grey shit. I, I do, I do consider you subhuman. I'm sorry. Like this is going on too too long. Let's just keep going. Fuck this. The guy who brought unassembled models to the local game store and played with bases <laughs> with unit names painted on the side. He'd bring up pics of golden demon winners and say, "This is what it'll look like when it's done." No. Never even cut the models off the sprites. <laughs> <laughs> just go to go down and have a game and just slap the sprites on the table. Go here's my army. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you guys a funny one. So this was the first, the first time I ever went to a forty k tournament, right? First time ever. I was quite excited, but I was very new and I don't really know what to expect. And uh, I, I, there was a guy. He was. I wasn't playing with him, but he was like three tables over. And I just remember him pulling out like this, like multi pack of Coke, like Coke, like Coke tins, and he used them as drop pods. But the worst thing was Coca Cola cans. Yeah, the like cans, like tin, like Coke, Coke <laughs> cans as drop pods. But the worst thing is he started drinking them halfway through the game. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever experienced anything this bad before? I don't know. I just, I didn't really know. I didn't say anything at the time. Oh, I wasn't even class. playing against him, but like, oh, it, it, like it was out there, you know? Have any of you guys ever experienced <laughs> anything like that? Fucker was retarded and wouldn't follow any goddamn plan we put into place. During an infiltration of an enemy nobles party, he walked up to the guest of honour and damn near broke his disguise by asking the host to hold his hand, which appears smaller than it is due to the magic we used to disguise him. And then the party got invaded by a war host that we had no way to fight effectively. Instead of running away, he elected to run headlong into a maw of the nearest battle squad and was baffled that we weren't backing him up. When we told him in no uncertain terms to run as fast as your stupid Goliath legs will carry you. <laughs> it's just one example of stupidity. But it's the most illustrative of why I find him endlessly frustrating. Ah, uh, what do you do with that? I know. Like, you know, like sometimes I think people sometimes spend too much time on the planning of plans in instead like D&D, of just doing instead it. of just like just going with it. Because like yeah, um, that, that happened with us in the is the temple or the Dimahor or Temple of Horrors. Dun- Dungeon of Horrors or whatever temple it was. Of horrors, what we're doing. And um 
because we're all so scared to go into like rooms at a time because they're like oh we're going to get fucked up no. we were all like standing in the corridor going right we'll do this we'll do this and eventually I just ran in and bashed things <laughs> <laughs> and then I always got to fucking like poison or whatever it was well like we, we, we were very slowly taking one drop at a time and I think it worked out quite nicely yeah. but like also like guys see when it comes to like planning to the ninth degree just don't bother no. I, I, I feel like it's a, it's a waste of a time a lot of the time like you know give yourself five minutes tops because uh, like you know mm-hmm. finally your dm's just gonna work against you anyway and foil any plan you've got yeah. you're fucking organizing in front of him jesus <laughs> christ yeah. let me just tell the enemy he's all sit, my battle he's sitting guns. on the other side going, <laughs> <laughs> right going fuck with him like this <laughs> yeah exactly you know so one of those ones but like guys just, if you if you grip comes with a plan just follow the plan yeah please please playing old west star wars rpg we are rebels escaping the empire on top of a building, that guy peeks over the edge to see if the Empire has shown up. Tell him there are two stormtroopers outside the front door. I whip my dick out and pee on them. <laughs> GM goes along with it because retarded or something. Game dissolves into slapstick cartoon. Everyone had fun anyways. The only one who was annoyed by any of it was me. Now I'm that guy. Look, maybe, maybe, maybe when it comes to that guy, maybe... He isn't that guy. Maybe he's just in the wrong group. Could be. Are you um, compensating for your own that like, guy tendencies? I, I, no, I, I, I fully embrace that I am that guy at this <laughs> stage. I don't give a fuck uh, at this point. Like, you know, like, what are you going to do with it? Deal with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, what are you going to do? Seriously. I had to pull a friend from the table and tell him he reeks of sweat once. He went bright red. Told him just to take a quick over the waist shower in the bathroom and I'll give him a clean t-shirt and deodorant. To my amazement, he did. Always came to sessions in pristine perfume condition from this moment on. That's good. That's, that's a nice. friend. That's, that's that is nice. a friend. Like, the problem is, I, I think I, I just don't have the patience to sit with smelly people at this point in my life. I'm, I'm past that point of... Uh, perfume uh, yourself. Yeah. Well, perf- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I am that guy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I don't smell that bad, Megan. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm not bad for it. Like, you know... But uh, you know how it is. I think I'm just past that point of caring about, like, oh, you know, I would be very mean if I, it's like, look, mate, just, you know, do it in a discreet manner and it's yeah. cool. You know what I mean? As long as it's not in, like, front of everybody going, yeah. mate, you stink, Dang, like, from Evans. across the room. I don't know. Like, put it like this. For me, I used to work a very manual job, you know, mm-hmm. and if you're walking about all day, it's hot, you know, you're in a busy environment. Like, you know, it's used to be finished by the end of the day. If you, ha- if you haven't, if you don't smell a wee bit by the end of that day, you probably haven't been working hard enough anyway. Yeah. So I'm kind of used to that mindset, like, yeah. you know, and most of the people I'd be working with. Bath. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those ones, like, you know, like, we all fucking have to deal with yeah. it. Like, you know, just try to be a decent human being, would you? Yeah. As a player, asked for every source unimaginable. If he couldn't get away with something, he cheated. If he got caught cheating, he threw a fit and blamed the GM for not allowing him to do whatever. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Treated other belongings like fucking crap. Breaking dice and minis that didn't belong to him. Oh, how do you b- how do you break dice? How do you break dice? They're fucking strong. <laughs> how the fuck do you... What, does he have a hydraulic press? Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to my hydraulic <laughs> press channel. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, how do you break dice? As GM. Allowed even less than the first book, Core. You name it. If something was remotely useful, he banned it on the spot. Changed goalposts, successes, DCs, you name it, constantly to the point you didn't know your capabilities as a PC and player. Could I walk down the staircase? Maybe not. I'm capable of drinking water from this glass. Two scenes ago I could, but nothing tells me I can now. Do I know how to breathe on my own? (laughs) Oh no. Outright lied about what we saw, or heard, etc. And when caught, he went with unreliable narrator, but you're too peasant to know of such amazing tropes. Uh. Okay. He's one of our player slash GM's best friend. And while he's amazing in both, that guy is fucking cancer and always got past tense invited. At least it's past tense. Yeah, exactly. I left the group on good terms, telling them I wasn't having fun with the other player. And before making people decide, I preferred to move on. Fast forward a year and a half, now they're in my grip and that player is nowhere to be seen. According to them, well, eventually we realised he was awful. Happy ending. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. That's good. You know, like, you know, this is the thing that I've got when it comes to all these stories. 
I just don't have the time. Like, you know, see whatever I have. Like, I dedicate, I, like, I dedicate yeah. a portion to my week to sit down with people that I enjoy to have a wee game and I have a bit of fun. Uh, you know what I mean? And you, you want, that's and I, the and main I, goal here. Like, you I, want I, to have fun. It's a bit of fun. And if you you're know in a I mean? group with somebody who you just can't yeah. stand, why be there? I, I just don't why, have, why come I, back I, I every week? I just don't have the patience for this type of mm-hmm. mentality. Because like, you're not in the position to tell them to get out. Yeah, so exactly. it's either, unless you're the DM. Unless, unless you're the, the DM, DM, I think. But you're, if you're a player, you're not. So I would just leave and find another group. <laughs> yeah, like you know, if maybe you could be like, oh, get you know, what do you call it? Do you do a vibe check? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh God, getting into the kids. <laughs> Getting mad when an enemy spellcaster teleports away their next turn after taking 76 damage from something they can't even see. Raging and declaring their characters useless after rolling two twos on attack rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Complaining the dungeon is too small for their huge size animal companion, even though the average room is the size of a high school gymnasium. What animal companion do you have? <laughs> Spending $20 on the latest legendary Magic the Gathering pushed mythic rare creature oh god and then getting incredibly salty when it gets doom bladed i'm sorry I've like n- i know what that like, fucking I, I means have, i have never played magic the gathering and I'm, i never will i'm not really I'm into, not car- into i'm not into card games to be honest with you apart from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> we, we, we did go through a phase of trying to get into yugio but it's just- <laughs> Which is funny because we laugh at anime all the time but like i don't care i love a bit of maybe was good like that guy who cripples a female villain NPC for life and keeps her as prisoner. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, what? that guy? <laughs> and keeps her as prisoner instead of just killing her. That guy who won't shut up about why heroin should be legalized during the session <laughs> oh my God. and makes his character an in game heroin addict. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Liz. <laughs> That guy, he always tries to use stealth, even when running through the desert in the open. Me. Literally me. I, I can't even argue with that. Yeah, that, that is you. Take, like, can I hide behind this bush? It's you, um, Hercules. <laughs> I, like, I don't even feel bad. Like, you know, like, you gotta you got at least ask. Yeah. You don't try, you don't know, you know? That guy, he constantly asks what challenge rating the monsters are. Oh, that does my deck in. <sighs> Just leave it. <laughs> that guy, who leaves the table mid-combat, to get his girlfriend McDonald's. No, he'd do a solid. <laughs> <laughs> that guy who tries to summon rhinoceros, rhinocer, rhinocer, rhinoceros, over rhinoceros, the et- <laughs> not the lo- rhinocerinos, <laughs> not the heckin' rhinocerinos. That's what it says, rhinoceros. <laughs> right, okay, right, we got it. Rhin- rhinos, yeah. <laughs> over the enemy's head for 55d6 damage due to broken falling object rules despite being told repeatedly it doesn't work in the rules but you, you, like that does sound like a bit at of fun he can- at least he tried let him try <laughs> like, at least let him try you know that guy who gets mad and accuses the DM of trying to kill the grip when two party members are reduced to 1 HP for the first time in the campaign yeah like, yeah, like, no. I'm, I'm, like I'm sorry but people I- you need to expect that whenever you're playing. Like, uh, okay. Not that the, the DM, you... whenever the DM goes out and it's like DM versus player, don't no, like that. No, fuck, I can't be done But with if that. you're in like an intense battle, you Someone's know, always a... go in expecting. Someone you know, could go down, or, could or, go down. The, or everyone could go down, yeah. or, or if you really feel like it, just gone away. Yeah. Like, just gone away. Nothing's an telling option. you that you can't go. Yeah, like, you know, that's why you should always play a squash, buckle, and loop, because that means you can just gone away. You can disengage moment. whenever you want. <laughs> 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 I fucking hate that. <laughs> I'm just gonna run in here, I'm gonna go stab And then stab. I'm gonna go <laughs> run and hide behind this rock. <laughs> I'm stuck, like, right in front of this fucking massive yeah, base by myself. Every turn, every turn. But yeah. Yeah, you know how it is, guys. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> and like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Trip to Games Workshop headquarters in Nottingham. Myself, fiancé and a buddy. Casual 40k players. Myself and buddy are more into the game. Fiancé plays odd games but is more along for the day out. 
Only I have experience of grognards and that kind of that guy who can be found at these events. Buddy and fiancé have never been to this kind of venue before. We are all casual players, planning on maybe a couple of low point games, some retail therapy and bumming around the museum. We get there and I, like a fucking idiot, go to get drinks, leaving Buddy and fiancé alone with the horde. (laughs) (laughs) The horde. The horde, I love it. While I was away, some grognard and his daughter turned up one table over from us. She was maybe 11, seemed like a good kid, and he was lamenting that, oh woe is me, no one will have a game with my daughter. Cringe. (laughs) Oh see, there's nothing worse than feet cringe. I know. Fiance isn't really there to play 40k, but is trying to be a good guy. Neither he nor Buddy recognised what red flags there were, and being British, we're too polite to say no. (laughs) Yeah. No. (laughs) Fiancé agrees to a game. Myself and Buddy are setting up our own skirmish, so don't notice anything odd. Maybe it'll be okay. Until... Wump. 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 That guy deploys a tank the size of a fucking boogie board. <laughs> <laughs> One of those four jewel tanks, I. I think it was an Astraeus. That was his army, and his daughter had some marines. 3,000 points total versus 1,500 of Dark Eldar. But the Dark Eldar only had to survive with units in the middle of the board to win. So Fiancé has half the points, with the most fragile army in the game against a brand new codex and a super heavy that nothing on his list can do so much as a scratch. Mate, you clearly are not bringing enough Dark Lances. I'm sorry, right? If you don't, you just, you, you need more Dark Lances. <laughs> you can never go wrong with having more Dark Lances, ever. Again, we are casual players. We'd never even seen that kind of tank before, much less know how to deal with it. Fiance- dark glances. More dark glances. <laughs> I'm telling you, trust me on this. You just need a lot of dark glances. <laughs> Somebody have a counter on how many times Jim says dark glances. <laughs> <laughs> it's only three times in the space of 30 seconds, Megan. It's not that bad. Fiance is too nice to say no or call bullshit. He's a nice guy and a teacher as his day job. He really doesn't want to upset the kid and is willing to tank what looks like a short game to keep her happy. Yeah, like I wouldn't. I also I wouldn't yeah. be that upset about that. No, like, especially you know, if it was a kid. It, but it, you know, fine, rightly, it's more the dad. It's the dad's put stroke in his ego. That's yeah. what exactly what it is. He's oh, been told what to take the kid me? out for the no, day. I, uh, He's been told to take the kid out for the day, and he just fucking leaves her sitting in the corner. <laughs> the dad, I don't even like fucking forty k. <laughs> <40K. laughs> <laughs> Shut guy. the fuck up! You will enjoy forty k. <laughs> That guy, you're my gene scene, you well enjoy it. (laughs) (laughs) That guy proceeds to play and play. That guy had first turn and the Dark Eldar were predictably wilting under overwhelming firepower. I will admit to being somewhat distracted, playing a short game while chatting. 1000 point skirmish gets mostly done and fiancé pipes up. Oh, I've not had a turn yet. How the fuck that guy took so damn long, I will never know. Oh no, I've like... Like, I've came across a lot of people that spend a minimum, like, 45 minutes Pick on turn, turn one. Yeah. On turn one. And it's like, me guys, come on, hurry up. The worst <laughs> is when it comes to D&D, though. Like, see role playing games, like, mate, you've only got, like, two actions. Like, you know, come on here. There's not that much, there's not that much you can do. You know what I mean? How the fuck that guy took so damn long, I will never know. But it was masturbatory as fuck. And pretty much wrecked fiancé's morning. That guy wasn't even letting his kid play so much oh my God. as doing it all himself. We rescued fiancé and pissed off for an early lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Base Magic the Gathering players in the lunchroom nicked our spare chair, at my request, so Grognard couldn't sit with us. Thanks, whoever you were. <laughs> <laughs> Food, stint round museum, got fiancé a nice lunch, and Buddy felt so bad he actually bought him a Void, void Raven. Raven. I like Void Ravens. They're a really nice model to paint. Me trying to pronounce all these fucking 40k <laughs> things. Buddy's fucking loaded. Coming back in the afternoon and the grog is now grumbling and playing against his own daughter. Once again, daughter was maybe 11 years old. Tops, probably less. We figured, well, whatever. If she's Indian, good for her. She was not into it. Oh my god. You know, you knew that was going to be the case. Oh, don't. Grog got angry and started chiding her for not paying attention, messing up rules and such. At this point, it had been quite a long day for a kid and she clearly didn't want to be there. Poor kid was probably just getting tired. Like I said, a whole day of 40k is a lot for me, never mind a little child. We packed up and hightail it out of there. Grog is still giving the, oh, it was me. Won't someone give my daughter a game? Bullshit when we leave. That's sad, to be honest Ugh. with you. 
Imagine having that's a actually that I, I don't oh. know why. I don't know why. I just I just find that a very very sad predicament to be in. I know. I I just no. Oh, like oh. I don't even really have much words to put on that. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'd love to introduce a child to I, forty. Like not. I think forty k. Forty k is not the bad. Just tabletop role playing games in general. Yeah. But there's a way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just forcing men to go. You play. <laughs> you play with us now. You know what I mean. Um, Especially not taking them to like a fucking tournament. It's not a tournament. They've got or the, whatever they've, it they've is. Got, they've got the big huge hall, so they do. They've got really lovely scenery. I've seen photos of them. Mm. Never been, of course. And you starting know. off. You know, with a three thousand point game for a little kid, it's too much. Far too much. It's too much. Like you know, I it's personally, far too much. I actually enjoy smaller games. I'm gonna be one of those people. I, I've came across this a lot, where a lot of people are like, no, I refuse to play minimum two thousand points. Like, I'm sorry, but I think you can actually have a lot of fun with a five hundred point game or a thousand point game. I don't know. I think having a lot of restrictions in really makes you have to re list. Like you had to, had to build the army and, it takes and put it so together long as well. By the time you're like yeah. not even halfway through it, your brain is fried. Oh yeah, I guess. I remember sort of... you coming back from oh, the, from so the war game center and you came back and you were like, "Am I my head?" Is yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it is a lot. Like you know, you're doing a lot of number crunch and a lot of thinking. And I'm not a very social person as is. Yeah. So like you know, for me, it's quite it's very a bit tiring. It is. It, t- it takes it out of you. You know, I don't know. Be honest with you guys. This is kind of sad. Be honest with you. I, I, I just feel bad for the wee girl. Yeah. But, like, we're just going to end it there, will we? Will yeah. we end it here? Yeah, we'll yeah. end it here. We'll end it here, so, well, there's plenty more on this thread, and we'll probably come back and Yeah, we could come back, more. like, it's fucking, it's, it's yeah, so we, big. We, 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 we spend more time gambling. I'm sorry, to be honest with you, I'm home with Chris Sitton from last night, all right? I'm not, a, I'm not that bad. Happy New Year! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't drink too bad, too much. You know what I mean. Yeah. But uh, definitely feeling fragile today. I hope today. you all had a good time last night for whatever you were able to do. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we sat, had a wee drink, and played Call of Duty. So we did because yeah, we're we normies. <laughs> because we're normies <laughs> and boomers, so we play COD. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, like as always, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, check out the models. It really does help us out a lot. Hit oh, subscribe man. as well. Hit the bell. You know all the stuff. Like, we're, we're, like, it's, tw- we it's, it's, like it's, it's 2021. We ramble. 2021, guys. It's 2021, guys. Everyone knows YouTuber. I'll suck your dick if you subscribe, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <Come laughs> See on, you in the next right. video. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye.